Live from Lachine, Quebec, Canada, it's The Late Night with Dave Mills, the Wednesday evening edition. Yes, that's right, Canadians. Canadians whose favorite theme song is, Who Let the Sled Dogs Out? Ooh, 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 ooh. Who Let the Sled Dogs Out? Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know they're singing that, but that's what I heard. Uh, you know, Canadians, you know, who, when we talk about the four seasons, we talk about winter, Almost winter, a lot of winter, and if you live in Quebec, it's construction, yes. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a good Wednesday. It's the middle of the week, hard to believe, eh? Time flies, even when you're not doing much. Time is flying. So we're here tonight with another edition of Late Night, and I do have my disclaimers, because you know, every show, we always start with disclaimers, because there's always a few. So, a couple things. Number one, some of you complained and were saying, oh, you know, uh, what kind of studios were you running back in the day when you used to do your late night show with Dave Mills in Coburg, Ontario? Uh, not much. And we still don't have much because that's just the way it is. Because, you know, why spend money on uh, like a, a showroom? So we're not doing that. Anyway, so tonight we have some top tens. We also have uh, some jokes that you sent in. I do have a few people I need to complain about first. Uh, this friend Iris King, she always, you know, she sent in jokes the other night. And I just want everybody to know her jokes did not stand up to the test. My jokes are still the class of Late Night with Dave Mills. That's just because that's just the way it is. Hey, Eddie, James, Renna, Alexi, good to see you. Steve Parker, hey, we're coming for you, Steve. Um, so anyway, I just want to say, Iris, if you check in tonight or you say anything nobody cares throw your your virtual tomatoes nobody's watching you because they're watching late night with dave mills by the way i also would like to say that my friend watching in whatever stock area that you're watching in just keep sending all your comments you know who you know who, nobody cares but send it in anyway because you will um you're wondering, hey, like I'm not wearing my Aunt Jemima outfit from like the other show. You could look on my wall and you can see my other shows. Uh, tonight I decided to go a little bit sleeker in my Michigan outfit. You know, hey, Lucy, hey, send some of that duck. Hey, next time you're, you're making duck at home, send some my way. Um, by the way, somebody said to me, man, when you were a little, hey, Ben, how's it going? I talked about Pacioretty three shows ago. Um, some of you were saying, oh, man, Dave, you were a big guy back then. <laughs> How did you do it? <laughs> Slim fast. You know, I went on slim fast. I <laughs> get it, buddy, Ben. So anyway, we got to get to the jokes because if we don't get to the jokes, this is just another show of me talking. And who wants to hear that? That's right. That's why you tuned in. So here we go. So my good friend Steve Parker sent me in a couple jokes. So I'm going to start off with a few of those jokes. It was two shows ago, Ben. I will bring my trombone back again Saturday night. I promise. So uh, joke number one from Steve Parker. When you order a clock online and the next day you hear the mailman knock on your door, you know, my time has come. <laughs> my time has come. I love it. Yes. Uh, this one's right up to date. Now Finland has closed their doors. You know what this means? No one will cross the finish line. The finish line. <laughs> love it. I'm check I have a red pen in case any joke's really bad. I'll check it off myself. Uh, here's a few for you. I threw a boomerang a few years ago. I now live in constant fear. <laughs> um, I don't know if this applies till yesterday, but uh, my wife accused me of being immature. I told her to get out of my fort. <laughs> Maybe you had this back in the day. Someone stole my mood ring. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> oh, I kill myself. Someone told my Microsoft, someone stole my Microsoft office. They're going to pay. You have my word. And I have some music in case you think this is really bad. Here we go. Oh, yes. Just in case you didn't like that one. I tried to catch fog yesterday. Missed. <laughs> so dumb. I love it. Oh, why do cows wear bells? Their horns don't work. Their horns don't work. What you call a dog with no legs? It doesn't matter. They're not coming anyway. <laughs> Kiara, good to see you. <laughs> I feel bad for the homeless guy, but I feel doubly bad for the homeless guy's dog because that dog must be saying, man, this is the longest walk ever. <laughs> My friend Tom Binky, we grew up together in, in Lachine, and uh, I think he's still a Lachine native. He gave me this joke. You might have heard it before, but I'm giving it again. What's the difference between Dubai and Abu Dhabi? The people in D Dubai do not like the Flintstones, but the people in Abu Dhabi do. Abu Dhabi do. 
Um, Steve uh, sends in a quick one. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? The answer is a stick. <laughs> I know, Ben. I know, but it, I, you know, what can I say, eh? <laughs> oh, remember Dave the Magnificent? I was on a few other nights ago. Dave Magnificent, I had my turban on. Um, so I have a few for you. Here's the first one. Mini calculator. These are math ones. Mini calculator. What do you call a midget mathematician? <laughs> concave. Concave. Where do escaped convicts hide out? <laughs> concave. <laughs> yes. Unit. Unit. And for the third time, unit. How do you make a sweater? <laughs> you knit. You knit. <laughs> Noah, good to see you. Not half as bad as the stuff from last week. Converse. Converse. What did the convict poet call his book? Converse? Ah. I know. Here, let's hear it again. Yes, because it was that bad. <laughs> Even double. Three times. Turn it off. Turn it off. Few more jokes for you. What did the policeman say to his belly button? You're under a vest. <laughs> I can't believe I told that joke. It's so bad. Okay, here's a red pen. Never telling that joke again. Why do bees have sticky homes? Because they use honeycombs. I used to love honeycomb back in the day, man. Man, that was one of my favorite cereals. Besides Rice Krispies, you know, the snap, crackle, pop. What do you call birds that stick together? Velcros. Velcros. <laughs> Why don't they play poker in the desert? Too many cheetahs. Too many cheetahs. <laughs> my jokes are almost as good as my reffing. Whoa. I don't know. What do you call when, what do you get when you drop a, a piano down a mine shaft? What do you get when you drop a piano down a mine shaft? A flat minor. <laughs> flat minor. <laughs> An apple a day can really keep the doctor away, but only if you aim real well. <laughs> what do you call a bear with no teeth? Gummy bears! Gummy bears! I read this in a book today. It said I was supposed to get a laugh right there. I don't hear the laughs, but that was supposed to be a laugh right there. <laughs> you kill vegetarian vampires with a steak to the heart. A steak? <laughs> I like mine rib steak. Rare. Medium rare. The... <laughs> Oh, this is good. The midget fortune teller who kills his customer is a small medium at large. <laughs> uh, that's a good drink joke. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Did you hear about the Mexican train killer? He had locomotives. ASA. <laughs> My friend recently got crushed by a pile of books, but he's only got his shelf to blame. <laughs> Shelf to blame. Yes, we yes, we ought to do that, Noah. Yes, for sure. We yeah, let's talk about that. Dry erase boards are remarkable. <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> uh, coming up to Easter, don't get upset. I think it's just kind of funny. How do you make holy water? Boil the hell out of it. <laughs> Boil the hell out of it. <laughs> Hey, Rob, how's it going? Did you know the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece. <laughs> I want to go there sometime. Not the Greece and the that, but the Greece, you know. The Greece. City, island, you know, country. Not the island, the city. The country. <laughs> I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. I don't know what he laced with, but I was tripping all day. Tripping, yes. You know I'm from the hood. Can you tell? <laughs> uh, so... My friend's wife tried to unlatch her, her daughter's car seat with one hand and said, how do, how do one-armed mothers do it? Without missing a beat, his husband said, single-handedly. <laughs> one arm, single-handedly. <laughs> and the final joke tonight is, what is Bruce Lee's favorite drink? What? <laughs> My wife's favorite movies, Bruce Lee movies. Hey, everybody. I hope you are doing okay. It's been a crazy uh, few weeks that we've been uh, quarantined for the most part. But I want to say, hey, hang in there. Uh, you know, this too shall pass eventually. And trust that you're staying safe. Trust that you get out, get a little fresh air, walk around, uh, you know, uh, do a little workout, do some things to keep you busy. 
We're coming back Saturday night with a Saturday night special. Not sure what that means, but we're coming back Saturday night. So be watching. Share this if you like. Send it to other people. Tell them this guy's not funny, but you may want to watch just for 30 seconds. Anyway, have a good evening, everybody. Take care. Uh, <laughs> The eight-year-old's laughing really hard. She's like, oh, my goodness, that guy's funny. And dad's going, no, he's not. No, he's not. Anyway, take care, everybody. Have a great evening. See you Saturday night. Share this. Uh, make some people laugh because we need to laugh during a really crazy time like this. Take care, everybody. Blessings. Bye. Bye. <laughs>